Hey everybody, it's Easy from Creature Comforts blog. Today I want to show you how to make some really charming little fabric sticker seals. You can use these to embellish gifts or you can also use them to um, create a, a nice greeting card. I'll show you how to do both. So let's go ahead and get started. For this project you're going to need fabric scraps. Um, the, a heavier weight cotton is going to be your best choice um, such as a linen or something like that. Um, and then you're also going to need a pair of scissors. Uh, they shouldn't be your best scissors because there, is, there are adhesives involved with this and I would hate for you to ruin your nicest pair. Uh, then you're going to need any sort of packages that you have previously wrapped. This was just a bar of soap that I wrapped in butcher paper and tied with baker's twine. So you can see it doesn't, it doesn't take too much and it looks pretty cute. And second, you're going, or and lastly, you're going to need a uh, Xyron sticker maker. And you can pick these up at your local craft store or online, and I believe they run around $9. Um, they come with an adhesive roll, and this the roll you want to make sure you have is the permanent, it says here on the side. Um, but you can also buy additional rolls for, I think, $4. So go ahead and check your, your local craft store for one of these. And let's go ahead and get started. To begin, you are simply going to take your chosen piece of fabric. I have cut mine to fit into the opening of the Xyron sticker maker, just like so. So slowly advance it into your machine, into the opening on top, until you see it reach the tape inside. Then, on the opposite side, you're going to see the tab of adhesive. Begin to pull. Meanwhile, guiding with your finger your fabric inside. It's a pretty easy process. I'm probably making it look complicated. But here you are. You pull, keep pulling as you see it coming out the other end. Once you get to the edge of your fabric, go ahead and use the serrated edge to just tear it off like this. You're going to set your now covered piece of fabric down onto a flat surface. And using the back of your finger or the back of a pair of scissors or something like that, you're going to go ahead and just rub all over the surface to make sure it's completely attached. Keep the top protective sheet on for now, and you're going to also have the paper back there. Um, go ahead and cut your shape. I'm going to go ahead and cut a, a, a circle, but you could do a heart, you could do a star if you were feeling adventurous, really just whatever you would like. As you cut, um, you know, you really... I like to just tell myself not to worry about it. Don't worry about being perfect. You don't need to have a template to make a perfect circle. I think the organic nature of fabric really looks nice um, if you just kind of let it go. So, once you are done, go ahead and take your... Oops, take the top off, which came off with my, thing, with my hand there. Take the plastic top off. Paper still on the back, which is nice. This means that if you want to save this for a later date, you can, or even make up a whole little bag of these and give them as a gift or a party favor to friends who you know would enjoy them. So go ahead and to attach it to your gift, you're just going to peel off the back. Actually, I have a little, a little nub here I want to trim. Go ahead and peel the paper off the back, like so, just like this. It's pretty sticky, and it is permanent adhesive, so don't attach it to anything you don't want it on. Um, go ahead and flip it over, and press it down on your gift, just like so. So this would be a really great way to dress up party favors, um, maybe some little packages for a wedding, or whatever you want to do with it. I think it will look great. Um, and then secondly, I will quickly show you... If you want to adorn a card, I literally just folded a piece of craft card stock, put a rectangular piece into my Xyron, cut it in half, and then notched the ends like this. Peel off your back and attach it onto your card. That's, it's that simple. And then I just wrote a little message here with a white Sharpie marker. So I hope you liked my project. Um, if you'd like to see more, come over to my blog, CreatureComfortsBlog.com. Thank you.